Before you start IVF, I want you to listen to this video and actually do these five steps at least three months before your cycle actually begins. Now, three months is not some magical number here. This is actually based on your biology because the egg you ovulate in your IVF cycle begins developing 90 to 120 days beforehand, which means the quality of that egg is influenced by what you eat and how well you sleep, how you manage your stress levels, how you stabilize your blood sugars, how you detoxify estrogen and how how your mitochondria are functioning. That's so important. The mitochondria are the little engines that run your cells, including the ones in your egg. Everything you do in these three months actually has an impact on the quality of your eggs and obviously as well on your whole environment down there. IVF does not override egg quality and it works with the egg you bring into the room. So here's what I want you to do. Number one, support egg quality at the mitochondria level. The supplement that genuinely moves the needle here is COQ10. But let's not take the cheap form. You need ubiquinol. This is the reduced bioavailable form your body can actually use. This directly supports the mitochondria inside your eggs. And these are responsible for cell division, chromosomal integrity, and the development of your embryo. If you are over 35, or over 40, this becomes non-negotiable. Step two, stabilize your blood sugars. You can take all the supplements in the whole wide world, but if your glucose is spiking all day long, then your ovaries and hormones will suffer. Protein, every single meal, a non-negotiable. Breakfast within an hour of waking, walk after meals, and don't skip food, please, especially not in your luteal phase. Step three, and all of you probably skip that, but it's so important that you support your liver so your estrogen is actually being cleared, not recirculated. This is the first thing we do in my fertility circle. We help your liver to get there. One of my favorite tools is n acetylcysteine It supports glutathione production, reduces oxidative stress, especially in your ovaries, and it really has been shown to improve ovulation quality in women with hormonal imbalances. Now, step number four is I want you to remember that IVF is not a guaranteed success at the first round and nothing about that means your body is failing. So important. A failed cycle often means nothing more than, well, that embryo wasn't the one and that is okay. It's a hit and miss even in perfect conditions. Step number five, reduce inflammation and nourish your system like you actually want your body to feel safe enough to carry life. Omega-3 rich foods are so helpful or supplement. And if you want an actual roadmap on how to prepare your body for IVF, egg quality, hormones, blood sugars, detox pathways, and all the things that are important, then come and join my fertility circle. And if you're lucky, like my member Ariel, she just gave birth. She was a member of my fertility circle, had two rounds of failed IVF cycles and got pregnant naturally when she joined. Obviously, that's not a guarantee, but a possibility.